isang matagumpay na pagpapalang muli sa inyo. Sa aking mga kamatinik, handa na ba kayo? Kunin na ang inyong mga gagamitin sa ating aralin. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Olaso. Sama-sama tayong matuto. Again, I would like to introduce to you my partner, Mateo. Hello, Mateo. How are you? Hello, Maestro. Hi, kids. I'm Mateo, your math buddy. You simply live and love mathematics. Yes, you are right, Mateo. The only way to learn mathematics is to live and love mathematics. So, are you ready, Mateo? What about you kids? All right, let's do math tanong. What is the quotient of the following? Number one, two and six hundred forty-five thousandths divided by one tenth. Number two, three hundred and three tenths divided by one thousand. Number three, seventeen and six thousand seven hundred eighty-four ten thousandths divided by one thousand. Mateo and kids, you have. 10 seconds to answer. Go! And now, Mateo, can you show us your answer? Sure, Maestro. Here are my answers. Number one. 2 and 645 thousandths divided by 1 tenth equals 26 and 45 hundredths. Number 2, 303 tenths divided by 1,000 equals 3,003 ten thousandths. Number 3, 17 and 6,784 ten thousandths divided by 1,000th equals 17,678 and 4 tenths. You're so good! You got all the correct answers. Can you share to all our Kamatinik what did you do to get the answer? For number 1, I just moved the decimal point one place to the right based of the number of decimal places the divisor has. So, 2 and 645 thousandths divided by 1 tenth equals 26 and 45 hundredths. For number 2, I move the decimal point 3 places to the left based of the number of zeros the divisor has. So, 303 tenths divided by 1000 equals 3003 ten thousandths. For number 3, I moved the decimal point three places to the right based of the number of decimal places the divisor has. So, 17 and 6,784 ten thousandths divided by 1,000th equals 17,678 and four tenths. Thank you so much, Mateo. It shows that you really learned how to divide decimal numbers by one tenth, one thousand, and one thousand mentally. I hope you also got the solution and answer just like what Mateo did. Mateo and kids, good job! In today's episode, we are going to differentiate terminating from repeating or non-terminating decimal quotients. Brace yourselves, let's do Mahalakai! Take a look at the following examples. Example number one. In dividing smaller number by a bigger number, just put a decimal point and add zeros as much as possible. The value is still the same. Ignore the decimal point 
as if we divide 10 by 2. The quotient is 5, which when multiply by 2, the product is 10, which makes 0 as remainder. Place the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. So, 1 divided by 2 is 5 tenths. The remainder is 0. The division ends or terminates. Therefore, 5 tenths is a terminating decimal. The word terminate means end or stop. A decimal that end is a terminating decimal. Terminating decimals have a finite number of digits or numbers, which come to an end after the decimal point. Let's have this. In dividing smaller number by a bigger number, just put a decimal point and add zeros as much as possible, and the value is still the same. Ignore the decimal point as if we divide 10 by 3. The quotient is 3, which when multiply by 3, the product is 9, which makes 1 as remainder. We can continue dividing by adding 0. Divide 10 by 3 again. The answer is 3, which when multiply by 3, the product is 9, which makes 1 as remainder. As you notice, the remainder will never be 0. The division does not end. Place the decimal point in the quotient, directly above the decimal point in the dividend. So, 1 divided by 3 is 33 hundreds, and so on, or 0 0.3 bar. Therefore, 33 hundreds and so on, or 0 0.3 bar, is a repeating or non-terminating decimal. A repeating or non-terminating decimal have an infinite number of digits. It is a decimal number that continues endlessly and the digits repeat. The bar in 0 0.3 bar is called bin kilo. It is the horizontal line placed over an expression to show that everything below the line is one group. The three dots or a vinculum is used to indicate the repeating part of a decimal number. The two examples show the difference between terminating decimal and repeating or non-terminating decimal. By finding the quotient of certain numbers, we can identify them if it's terminating or non-terminating. Now, Mateo? And to all of our Kamathene, to check if you really learn from our examples, get ready and say, Mothray nga! Solve and identify if the decimal quotient is a terminating or repeating or non-terminating decimal. Number 1. 3 divided by 20. Number 2, 9 divided by 40. Number 3, 2 divided by 11. And now, Mateo, can you show us your answer? Sure, Maestro. Here are my answers. For number 1, 3 divided by 20 is 15 hundreds. So, my answer is terminating decimal. For number 2, 9 divided by 40 is 225 thousandths. So, my answer is terminating decimal. For number 3, 2 divided by 11 is 18 hundredths. So, the answer is repeating or non-terminating decimal. You're so good. You got all the correct answers. You got an excellent clock, Mateo. All right. Don't you worry, Kamathene. I know you also got the same answers just like with Mateo. Other than dividing the numbers, there is an easy way on how to identify if the quotient is terminating decimal or repeating or non-terminating decimal. 
by looking at the divisor, we can figure it out if it is terminating or repeating or non-terminating. If the prime factors of the divisor is 2 or 5 or both, then the quotient is terminating. While, if the divisor has any prime factor other than 2 or 5, then the quotient is repeating or non-terminating. Just like what we answered for number 1, 3 divided by 20, the divisor has a prime factors of 2 times 2 times 5. So, the quotient is terminating decimal. For number 2, 9 divided by 40, the divisor has a prime factors of 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So, the quotient is terminating decimal. For number 3, 2 divided by 11, the divisor has only a prime factor of 11. Therefore, the quotient is repeating or non-terminating decimal. Again, I hope that everything is clear regarding differentiating terminating from repeating or non-terminating decimal quotients. Because of that, I expect that all the things you learned today would be math and the end. Mateo, can you tell them again how do we differentiate terminating from repeating or non-terminating decimal quotients? Thank you, Maestro. Terminating decimals have a finite number of digits or numbers, which come to an end after the decimal point. To identify it easily, check the prime factors of the divisor if it has 2 or 5 or both. Then, the quotient is terminating. While a repeating or non-terminating decimal have an infinite number of digits, it is a decimal number that continues endlessly and the digits repeat. Again, thank you so much, Matteo. You just proved that you really listened to our lesson. I hope you are like that too. This time, for our final activity, brace yourselves, it's Mathematics time! Identify if the decimal quotient is a terminating or repeating or non-terminating decimal. Let's check now your answers. Number 1. 5 divided by 9 equals 55 hundreds and so on or 0 0.5 bar. And the divisor 9 has a prime factor of 3 which means the answer is repeating or non-terminating decimal. Number 2. 7 divided by 20 equals 35 hundreds. And the divisor 20 has a prime factor of 2 times 2 times 5, which means the answer is terminating decimal. Number 3. 3 divided by 4 equals 75 hundreds. And the divisor 4 has a prime factor of 2, which means the answer is terminating decimal. Number 4. 5 divided by 11 equals 45 hundreds and so on or 0 0.45 bar. And the divisor 11 has a prime factor of 11 which means the answer is repeating or non-terminating decimal. Number 5. 9 divided by 40 equals 225 thousands. And the divisor 40 has a prime factors of 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, which means the answer is terminating decimal. Alright, 
How many of you got a score of 4 or 5? Wait! You outdid yourself today! Natapos na naman ang ating aralin. Naway kayo'y may natutuwan sa ating mga tinalakay. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Olaso na nagsasabing ugaliing manood at makinig upang maging matinik sa mathematics.